On January 16, 2007, Navy Secretary Donald Winter officially named CVN-78 USS Gerald R. Ford. Since CVN-78 was to begin the construction of a new series of aircraft carriers, a whole new class of ships would therefore be named after Ford. This decision caused a mixed reaction in society. It particularly outraged the USS America Veterans Association. USS America CV-66 had been decommissioned several years earlier, and her veterans had long lobbied for the naming of CVN-78's Corps America. They argued that Ford was nothing more than another president of the country, while the name USS America was a milestone in the history of the US Navy dating back to the time of the struggle for independence. Even the fact that Gerald Ford was a naval officer and served in the Navy during World War II could not dissuade them from this. Still, the new aircraft carrier was named USS Gerald or Ford CVN-78, but the efforts of the veterans did not go unnoticed. To show his respect for Navy veterans and the proud name of USS America, on June 27, 2008, Secretary of the Navy Donald Winter announced that the new amphibious assault ship LHA-6 would be named America. The new America was the sixth ship in the US Navy to bear that name, although three of them were not traditional warships. The first of these was American, a 329-ton ex-whaling bark purchased for the Stone Fleet. She was intentionally sunk as a barrier to shipping on the main channel of Charleston Harbor on December 20, 1861. This ship was sometimes registered as America. The other was a 19th century racing yacht. During the Civil War, she was sold to the Confederate States of America for use as a blockade vessel in the American Civil War. At this time, she was renamed Memphis. Subsequently, the yacht changed owners several times. She was eventually donated to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis. In 1923, the U.S. Navy designated her America IX-41. The Yacht America was one of only four ships in service in the U.S. Navy in both the Civil War and World War II, along with the USS Constitution, USS Constellation, and USS Hartford. Also steam-powered USS America ID 3006, which was originally the German liner SS America with the letter K, was used as a U.S. military transport in the First World War. And the first warship named America was a 74-gun battleship, which was built in 1782 for the Continental Navy, but she never saw service there, being given to France after launching. Little is known of her subsequent service under the French flag other than the fact it was brief. The Kitty Hawk-class aircraft carrier USS America CV-66 served in the Navy from 1965 to 1996. It was she who acquired much of the fame for this name which was claimed by veterans of the American Navy. Among other notable accomplishments, CV-66 did make three Pacific deployments serving in the Vietnam War and conducted airstrikes against Iraq in the early days of Operation Desert Storm. USS America LHA-6 is an amphibious assault ship of the United States Navy and the lead ship of the America-class amphibious assault ship. She was delivered in spring of 2014, replacing Paliliu of the Tarawa class. Her mission is to act as the flagship of an expeditionary strike group or amphibious ready group, 
carrying part of a Marine Expeditionary Unit into battle and putting them ashore with helicopters and V-22 Osprey tilt rotor aircraft, supported by F-35B Lightning II aircraft and helicopter gunships.